Shut up and sit down. in let's open her up and see what they sent us so here's all the parts and pieces you'll need to do a real good job in this um, you've got the actual system itself the UV lighting system these are pretty simple systems just powering a light bulb not much to it here's the actual UV light bulbs we've got some aluminum HVAC tape helps when we cut the holes and we attach this, we want a real nice secure connection. Uh, we're gonna do a slight upgrade here. We're gonna do a rubber um, mat filler here. Get a nice piece in the background. And that depends on where you install it. Um, if you're just installing it on the metal itself, these are good. Um, if you're doing it actually on the vent, you probably don't need these because the vent themselves provide the installation. So uh, optional choice here. Um, it ships with screws. These are good for mounting to the actual vent, to the outtake. If you're gonna cut into the metal, uh, get some metal screws, uh, better design than these. These are for going into the actual um, outtake in the vent. The, uh, you'll need different screws if you're gonna drill into the metal itself for your HVAC system. And I'll talk about that. Uh, they send you instructions, all the warnings, a cut template, and a sticker. It's good to have the sticker so people know that you got a UVC light going on inside of your system. Uh, don't look right at it. <laughs> and we'll go over some tips and tricks, how to get this installed in your system. We'll have a good time. So we're going to need to decide on install location. So you can do it right in the metal, or you can do it on the return. So basically just a little quick walkthrough. Here's air coming back through the house. It goes down there, hits the filter, it's filtered comes up and gets conditioned, <laughs> you know, heated or cooled, and then goes back up through there. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this spot here. There's already a hole somebody put in here from, from somewhere. Cover that hole. It, the device will sit right here. And I can plug it in right over there with all that other stuff. Get a nice little clean install. So we're gonna start with this. Um, I'll open this up and show you some options you can do to uh, work on this, but again, it's just, these four screws will get you in this panel. Here's what we're looking to kill. You can see the, the mold and bacteria kind of starting to build up in our system here. Uh, it's, you know, it's damp in Florida for only humidity, and this is dark in here, so damp and dark makes mold. Uh, this light keeps light going on in here and uh, prevents this mold from building up. So you have some options. Um, like I said, you could put it right here, so it's down inside of the these are the, the units, so you can see where the air comes through there, it gets heated or cooled. Uh, this is the, the fan, <laughs> people, people call it the, the hamster cage. It sucks air through here and blows it up straight through there. So I like the idea of having it on the after it's conditioned going through here. Um, if you put it down here, one possible issue, um, this does change temperature. And when you have temperature changes, you get condensation. Condensation can build and drip back down here. And that condensation might get in the light and cause problems. Um, and this is a little bit harder to drill into and you'll need a different screw than what you they provide you. You need a, more, a screw more like this, a sheet metal screw. The ones they give you, they call them sheet metal screws. They're not really sheet metal screws. This is a real sheet metal screw here. You just need to buy four of these if you put it here. Um, the easier, and my recommendation is up here, the light from up here will penetrate all of this. It's a very bright light. It'll bounce all over this system. It'll come through here, and it'll do a great job of getting this all killed off. We're using some of my wife's homemade thieves cleaner, a non-caustic on natural cleaner. Just going to spray some on. You can already see the bacteria kind of starting to slide off. And we'll just wipe it off with a towel. See, this is oh, I missed a spot. But you can see there's, I didn't wipe, and I wiped. What a difference it makes. Same on the wall here, or the shelf. Didn't wipe, wiped. 
So just go through and get all this up before you continue. I'm going to show you what I mean by condensation building up here. See this on this little bumper here? Just a little, just because temperature change. That's all that is. But we've got this all, you can see right there. Watch, once you watch how easy it just wipes off. This comes right off. See the wall here. Nice and clean. How clean it looks when you're done. Right, we mounted our cut template up. Um, don't worry about doing the screw holes. You see there's a circle or a square. You can do either one. Uh, circle is you have the drill bit. Square is if you want to use, and I'll show you a very advanced tool for do this, a steak knife. Here's our advanced tool. The Kitchen Delight, <laughs> made in Japan, full tang, stainless steel steak knife. All we're gonna do is we're gonna punch it in and cut the square outs. That's all the hole we need to cut. You see the insulation isn't really that thick. Very soft, and a steak knife works fantastically for this. Let's do the other hole. So here's the one light bulb in a box. Um, don't touch the light bulb itself at all. But I just want to make sure, see if you can, you can, if the depth, nothing could, um, could touching it in the way. There really shouldn't be. We want to check that. So all I'm going to do, take my little ruler, I measure six and a half inches, and does it go in at least six and a half inches? Yep, plenty of depth, more than six and a half inches, no obstructions. I, it's just a good thing to check. You don't know what a previous person may have left in there. So before you go forward, now we're gonna validate that the holes we cut fit properly onto our our new device. Let's, uh, here's the new device, gonna push it up to the holes, and it goes flush. So we're good. We're ready to put the light bulb in and install this. Um, I mentioned if you want, you can put a rubber gasket here. The reason why I recommend that is if you decide to put this here, have the rubber gasket. Um, if you're gonna do it up here, you don't need the rubber gasket. But if you do it here or anywhere in the metal, use the rubber gasket to separate this from the metal, prevent any condensation problems or any issues from um, conductivity on the metal and the light bulb. It's just a nice safer wick. This is an electric device. Up here, no problems. You don't need the rubber. Put these bulbs into here. We just, again, make sure you don't touch the glass. Only hold it, this part down here. You do not want to touch the glass at all costs. It can, it can damage the bulb. It can cause premature failure. Don't touch the glass. Here they are installed. Here they are installed. Um, we're gonna do a quick test. Don't look at the light when you test it. Just plug it in, see they turn on. If they do, go ahead and turn it back. And you'll see we've already got one bad bulb. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna purchase replacement. Both are working, the replacement, we got the replacement. Now all we're gonna do, <coughs> we're gonna put this run, we're gonna just carefully push that in like that. All right, and then we're gonna put the screws in next. I got the lights turned off. I want to show how much this penetrates light. So you can see it through there. That's all the light coming from this device here. It's going through there. And it's even getting in on the fan there. That's really where you want on that fan. So as it spins, that UV light's going to hit the fan and really cook um, the bacteria. What you can do as well is if you want to get more light, uh, you can even put a second one and I'll put it right there. Uh, that way it'll come in just before the filter. So you got a lot of space down here on this on this this one, but you, know, you can have one go there. Um, you can even have one, they, they make ones that clamp right here. You can have it sit right here and it'll just flood this area in light. I may do that and just have all this UV light in here, but this is the first one we're putting in. Um, this UV light will kill this bacteria and mold that's been developing in here. So it's great to have, really freshens the air. So our next phase is we're going to screw that into place. For this install location, we'll use the screws that come with it. If you're going to drill an actual hole into the, the, the metal here, you need to get more proper metal screws for that. But for this application, these longer, thinner screws will dig into this material here very nicely. That's all there is to that part. So now we're going to take some tape. 
and go right along the edges there and make this airtight. So I got one done. It came out perfect. I want to walk through what I did here to do that. So you, you got your aluminum tape here. It's got backing to it. Just kind of put it to where you want it. Top right there. And you're just going to kind of work your way down and out with it. Make a nice presentation to it. It's not like people are going to be in here looking around at my AC unit, but if you're going to do something, do it nice. Make it look good. And we're kind of working our way down and out. Just like that. And then we'll do the top and bottom now. And that's a nice, clean installation. So it belongs there, which it does now. Um, so now we're going to run the cable down and out of the way. I'm going to go behind. And this is the feed here. Run it nice and safe. And we've got a, strip, a battery backup strip down there we're going to plug it into. A surge protector. We'll have a nice looking system. Right, so I'll take a minute and talk about the uh, sticker. It's on the system. It's obviously a UV system. So put it right here in case I, for everybody that noticed that. Uh, that way if somebody's going in they know there's a UV light system as part of this. It's also good if maybe if you had it hidden, maybe you installed it at the back over there, or you got some other weird location. Just make sure this is part of the system and that no one's going in there and getting uh, exposure to the light. It does produce a little bit of radiation that's harmful. So put this someplace obvious. One more completed project. How great does it feel? Uh, a little summary on this. If I'm going to try this out for a few weeks, maybe half a year, uh, see how effectively it works on cleaning up the system. I've read a lot of good reviews on it. If it's doing well in one part of the system, I might put a second one in prior to conditioning. I got one after conditioning now. I may even put one in mid conditioning, uh, do three total. Just have a whole lot of UV light in there. It's great for the air quality, the air purity. It does what the filters can't, which it, it kills organic organisms. Organic organisms? <laughs> kills organisms. <laughs> so again, do some projects, improve your life, level up your world. Um, like and subscribe for more videos.